Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials of the Last time I cliffhanger knew, which means the red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tier of Eminon that Mass to Mask stole at all. Yeah, we're just jumping right back into it. Objection. Objection! Yeah, what? Oh no, coffee? And your point is, Mr. Trite? So you're trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended for someone else. That is what you're trying to say, right, Trite? Is that what you're trying to say, right, Mr. Wright? Well, is that what you're trying to say? Right, Nick? Yes. <laughs> yes! It is. This is who came forward was actually blackmailing. I know who it was because I'm a cheater. Naturally. It was you, Detective Atme. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? You have been personally involved in every single mask to mask case. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received a jewel as your reward. Uh, a jewel? Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring! That is the red diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that Kane Board wrote that letter in order to blackmail you. Ah! Oh! Love this song. Order, order in the court. Um, um, order, I say. Objection. It seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Uh oh. I don't like the way he said that. Kane Board blackmailing Luke at me? Are you for real? Y yes, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage, if you don't want your identity revealed to the world. Yes, it certainly does. Kane Borch threatened to make Luke Acme's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? Acme killed Kane Borch because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity that Luke Atme wanted so desperately to keep secret and his identity was... A blackmailer. Luke Atme was a blackmailer. Objection. Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said the Kane board was the one blackmailing Luke Atme. Are you saying that Atme was blackmailing someone else on top of that? Uh, you have to admit, that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Board was blackmailing Luke at me. But, Juan Dwight was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So did you start to receive blackmail letters starting from the, after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the Tier of Eminon heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Detailed plans? In which case, that would mean that Ronda Light was actually mask to mask. That is what we are claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his targets for him. And that someone was none other than Luke at, Luke at me. Shush! I mean, shush! Silence! Wow. Hee 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 hee. No, I see. It's all becoming clear. W what is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless, with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? Uh, how did you... You say that I, Luke Atme, was blackmailing Ron Delight? In which case, I would naturally know all about his relationship to ma uh, relation to Master Mask. Well, yes. Ron Delight started receiving his plans from the second crime onward, correct? Which means, I learned of his identity when he committed that first crime. Point. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. Shut up with the coffee. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ron Delight was mask to mask? Wasn't it the frickin' picture of the this? This? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat. Yeah, this is what it is. Okay, yeah. It was the, um, the newspaper clipping. I knew it. It's like, hey, I honestly, I do look at the evidence before I go cheat, unless I actually announce that I'm cheating first. <laughs> I think I see it. See what? 
when you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. Wh what do you mean? This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Master Mask didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. Why not just say a trash can? That, that sounds far too stupid to be true. Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Atme. That's when you learned that under his mask, Master Mask was actually Master I mean, what the? Wasn't he supposed to be mask to mask? Not only that, it looks like he wasn't even an ace detective. I can't believe it, he was just a slimy blackmailer. What a fraud, trying to pass himself off as an ace detective. Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Why I? I, I mean, I never black I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I, I'm a fabulous, a famous, proud ace detective and also mask to mask. Why can't you understand that? I'm afraid you're neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That's your true identity. Wh wh why you? How dare you even dare to tell you why you're trying to do something seriously? You blackmailed your tutorial for lags. I can't read it. <laughs> so go on, disagree me. Come on, you're not blackmailing murder. That's I'll get away with all of it. Ah ha ha ha! That's enough to make one laugh. Whatever. <laughs> I could barely read any of that, so whatever. Uh, but, okay, you know what? Someone comment, watch that part again, skim through that, and actually uh, dissect what he says. I want to see what he said, because I couldn't read all of it. Anyway, it would seem we finally come. We finally got into the real answer. That was quite a performance by Mr. Atney. That was me. <laughs> Bailiff, please, please prepare for a cell for Mr. Atney. Objection. That, that eye, jeez. The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. Wh what do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my sentence. Allow me to say one thing. I will be the one to judge. He won't. Dot 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 exclamation point! You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. Where are you? Where do you? It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke Atme was a filthy blackmailer, and that he wasn't at Wardley Taylor the night of the murder. That's right. That's why he's the one who killed Mr. Kane Bo But. There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse for a man was a KB security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No. No way! <laughs> order, order in the court. Well, Mr. Wright, th this is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Atme was at Mr. Bullard's office on that night. But, but, can you really prove that? That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I want to hear your answer. That night, Mr. Luke, Luke Atme was at KB Security, and the defense... Uh, we can't... Honestly, we don't have anything that really puts him there. So, we can't prove it. I... I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But, if we hear more of Detective Atme's testimony... Objection. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Trite. Wh what do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Luke Atme is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilty verdict as mask to mask. And no. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that our love wins out, or that love wins out in the end after all. I am the ace detective as well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that, I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. God. 
Order, order in the court. That's enough deliberation over this witness. I, I can't believe this. At this rate, Ron is... D don't give up now, Nick. We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence and... By then, it'll be too late. Huh? W why? Double Jeopardy. One of the basic rules of any court of law. Double Jeopardy? Should a defendant be tried and found innocent in court, that defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime. That's a good movie, too, by the way. It is a fundamental rule of all courts. And it applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as mask to mask. Which means... He will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Board is concerned. No way! The fact that you were unable to prove Mr. Atme's guilt of that crime here means that he will never again be tried as Kane Board's murderer. Uh, wah! What are you actually crying? <laughs> Jeez. Now there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, Luke Atme, will go free. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today, and as long as there is no more testimony, I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questioning of this witness. Are there any objections? Yes? <laughs> Quit drinking coffee. Then I hereby end the cross-examination of Luke Atme. Objection! I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were a child, this is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. <laughs> how, how did you... Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Th that voice! No way! Sup? Long time no see, Phoenix. M Mia! How are you doing? This is the true power of the Korean channeling technique. I know that it's really Maya who's standing before me, but right now she's my mentor, Mia Fey. Now, let's do this. But, but, there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine. Not yet. The testimony's, testimony's not over yet. What, what do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Y yes that's true, but... Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier, after the last cross-examination, cross this witness made a number of remarks. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that our love wins out after all. I'm the chase detective as well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ron Weiss will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Y yes but those comments appear to have no importance whatso very well then we shall prove their importance via cross-examination at any rate as long as the witness has made these remarks we the defense assert our right to question them is that all right with you prosecutor is something the matter mr goto uh nothing Oh, Sir Lawyer, it looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehoods will do anything to me, Luke at... Let's hear it. Huh? It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of cross-examination. Mr. Goto, what are you... Very well then, Luke at me. I'll allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why you declare the defendant to be the true murderer. So please, give us one last bit of, bit of testimony. I... Er... Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Y yes Chief. Let's do this! I know what must be done. Indeed, it is true that I was not a lordly tailor. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph readied. My brilliant deduction was the what informed me that Ron Trickside was the true culprit. And thanks to the keycard and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? 
the victim who would have let things on it. Your sound did it. Mr. Delight was wearing his master mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. And the blackmail letter. The victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Zvari. Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. Nope. Wrongo. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. No, it doesn't. I see the flaw in it right now. And it's not even because I cheated. Because, honestly, I forgot exactly what I needed to press there. And I already just remembered from what he said. <laughs> the witness's earlier remarks do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All of his points have been explained, and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course. But how did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly through me. And I always look all over to the doc look over all the documents. It's elementary, a lawyer. Grr. <laughs> Are you gonna make even more trouble for us now, Sir Lawyer? <laughs> I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor. We cannot postpone Luke Acme's trial any longer. This is your last chance. H hang on a sec. Just one chance? Huh. <laughs> it seems the party is about to begin. Well, Phoenix? There isn't any evidence that contradicts with that testimony. So it would seem. W what do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix. Pointing out contradictions doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. Cup number 17. The last cup. Seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. I had to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony. And I need to point it out without presenting evidence. Which means all I can do is find the contradictory remark and press it. Remember, you only get one chance. I know what it is. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. The last testimony. Yeah, the game's over after this. Sorry. <laughs> Indeed, it was true that I was not at Lordly Taylor. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. I had known about the date before I had, so I had this photograph of it. My brilliant deduction was that one informed me that the true couple was on the light. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which always added once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left fingerprints on it if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. Mr. Radme, about this uh, last remark. Objection. You still don't get it, do you, Trite? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. I'm afraid you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. Wh what Mr. Ratme, it seems you've finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. <laughs> How can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not the button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit. Is that correct? Uh, indeed, that's what I said. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. I, I, I'm sorry, whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm starting to get a really... I'm starting to get real thirsty. When exactly did we learn the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as mask to mask when he went to the scene of the crime? Th that was... Um... It was just a few hours ago. Back when my sixth cup was looking at me with a cold stare. Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. That's right. The defendant had yet to tell anyone else this fact before morning. Therefore, the only people who should know this, who, ugh, know this are those who had been watching this trial. Grr, grr, grr. Do you understand now, Detective Atme? There's no way you should have known about that! Ah! Uh. I. You were in the next courtroom being tried as mask to mask, so then enlighten us. Just how did you know that piece of information? Urk! Well... C come on, this detective must have known about it. He probably had 
plenty of chances to find out beforehand. And it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit. There was one and only one way for Detective Atme to have found that out. Only one? One way, you say? Please remember, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. For a second, my client witnessed the real killer. But Mr. Delight never saw him. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Luke at me. It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. J just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn that statement around, it stands to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. I impossible! Detective Atme, you saw Master Mask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Board and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have known what Ron was wearing. Earthquakes now? <laughs> He's gonna fly away. <laughs> hee hee ha 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 hee ha ha hee. That's what he lands on. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. That's the same line you gave yesterday. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> what an awfully complicated incident, just like every other one I'm involved in. How weird. Anyway, Kane Board was blackmailing Luke Atme, who was in turn blackmailing Ron Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke Atme tried to frame Ron Delight. He then claimed to be guilty as Master Mask in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with this plan. To use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Um... At any rate, it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murderer, along with, you know, killing him. Don't ignore me! Ugh. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict. I know. You never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but... I, um... I really am Master Mask! Huh? So thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh... What was it you said? Double Jeopardy? Now that you mention it... I've been careless. Careless? Um, what do you think, Mia? As a defendant says, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was once found innocent. Then, mask to mask is really innocent. For now. It would seem so. F for now. <laughs> now then, this court finds a defendant... Not guilty, as always. So we got two not guilty verdicts. Oh yeah. The power of cheating. Boy, this is really lucky. Wait, er, I... That isn't so good after all. You see, the thing is, I still am Master Mask after all. <laughs> October 14th, 3.35 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. You did it, Nick. Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call on me much... or call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously. But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of lost these days. You mean about becoming the master of the Korean channeling school? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to our mother. You mean Misty Fay? Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Mia. Ah! Mr. Wright! Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Delight. Th th thank you so much. Er, no, wait. 
Nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all this has happened. Come on, just be happy already! Maya, <laughs> you've been cleared of the murder charges and got off of Masked Mask to boot! But in exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB Security, becoming Masked Mask, you... I did it all for one reason, for her. You mean your wife, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that. I knew that, but... Once I got fired from KB Security and lost all the money I had, she wouldn't have had any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Mask to Mask? Yes, but it's all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together! Then that's not true, right, Nick? Right. R really? Can we go back to the way things were? You'll be fine, and Nick can prove it! I can? I kind of wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it back together. The Sacred Urn! Desi was the one who found this. Desiree, your wife. She's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Ah! Uh, pff, wrong voice. Ah! Wouldn't it be funny if that was her voice? Ah, oh, there you are! Miss Delight. You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! Thank you. I, I appreciate that. B but, um... I, I suppose you don't want anything to more to do with me, do you? Ronnie, why don't you talk to me about what you what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit KV security. I never imagined that you were really masked to mask either. Miss Delight, what are you gonna what are you gonna do now that you know? You're you're not gonna really leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. <laughs> so fast there's no way he could ever get away. Oh, that's just delightful. Um but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he committed them, like a man. Wow. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. That's not... chivalrous? <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. D Desi. That's right, you really do love Ron, don't you? Nicky boy! Y yeah <laughs> I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, um, take care of yourself. You too, Nicky boy. Gulp. I can feel my face going red. Mr. Nick, Mr. Maya, congratulations. Gee, I don't know what's going to happen. Gasp. Talk about bad timing. Slap. How could you, with another man's wife, in front of Mystic Maya? No, 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 you got it all wrong. I'll never forgive you. Never. Ever. Ow. She knocked me out. <laughs> Wait, did she? So just as the case came to a close, so too did my- Yes! She actually knocked me out with slapping! Jeez! She's like seven! Or she's like eight or nine or something. I don't know. So just as the came case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. Ron said, a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Here's a perfect example of that. Of one that was put back together even better than before. <laughs>